in the absence of Gambier as well, it means that India's middle order, Dravid and Laxman, two of those celebrated three middle order players are now at the crease with the ball, one over old. Stuart Broad will come in from the pavilion end. England have four slips in place and a short leg. I was going to say, Arthur, the, the short leg position is something we don't see very often. I... Inside edge there, that's why that short leg is in place. But I always think that you often judge a player in times when it's difficult as well and without embarrassing you sat here next to you. I thought a lot of you in that 2005 series when Australia had a tough time. I'd never seen you play in a series where Australia had been up against it. And to show the kind of level of form that you showed in that 2005 series when Australia were up against it, I thought was, you know, took you in my mind to another level. And I think that about Raoul Dravid as well. You see him time and time again performing when it's very difficult for India in this series. And uh, it says a lot about him, I think, as a player that he's done that. It's often easy to do it when you're on top, surrounded by great players and you're dominating the opposition. It's very, very easy to, to be a good player in that situation. Pad first, it was. The appeal was there. It was, yeah, marginal, wasn't it? Good stride forward. Marginal as to whether it hit him outside. And uh, Latchman. Dravid now and Tendulkar together. Dravid on strike to Anderson. Dravid wanted it. Tendulkar did. Lovely shot. Got forward and actually cut it off the front foot. You don't see that very much these days. Yeah, good shot. Width and straight at his pads, Dravid. That's where he's really strong. Anything too straight on his pads and that width. He sort of gets really late, hits it late, but he gets down off the front foot and hits it. So he gets low and just whacks it straight into the ground there. He gets some real pace with his wrists. That's right, he hits it really late. Waits for it. Rory Burns gives chase to no avail. Yeah, he was asked about that, wasn't he, in the after math of the game and he said he was just a bit confused he knew he thought he hadn't hit it but he'd heard the sound and the sound sounded so woody he just wasn't sure what it was he knew his bat had not hit the ground he knew his bat has not hit the pad he asked Tendulkar at the other end who said yeah there was a sound so he kind of just thought well I must have hit it but he hadn't felt it on the bat either just really unlucky Bat just clipped the aglet, the end of his sh shoelace. Deliberately played. It's a little wide from Anderson, and Dravid does look, as Shane Warne said, aggressive. He looks pumped up and looks as though he wants. This will be four. Sweetly timed. Just behind square on the leg side. Looks in good touch, does Ravi. Oh, that's a beauty. <laughs> that's a good way to handle such deliveries. Smile on the face and tell yourself you're just human. You can't play those. I'll tell you something else. It'll be going through his mind. I bet you anything is going through his mind. Why can our bowlers not do this? He's been out in the field for all that time. 153 overs again. That's a Jaffa. Back again. Played Swan beautifully in this series. Another boundary to Dravid. He's an excellent player, Spin. Seems to have more time than most. And quickly he's into position right back on the stumps. Most people have probably been a good length ball. He's turned it into a short ball and he's put it through the covers. Excellent batting. Oh! Wow. That's a very good catch from Cook.
don't think it came off the glove of Raul Dravid. They're going to ask a few questions of each other. I think it's Alistair Cook who said no. I think it was off the forearm. One thing that was very good was the catch from Cook. He went up and then he went back down to take the catch. But more turn and bounce for Swan. I'd love to... I really do want to see someone up on that offside. We've seen a couple of balls now that both bats have had problems with. Uh, it, would been a, it, would, it would have been a wasted uh, review. As to Cook got that right. Beautifully played. A wristy flick. It was nothing more than that. And Broad has no chance. 50 partnership. David and Tendulkar. Pulled. Not time. Off the splice of the bat. But Dravid, I think, will get four. Yes. It wasn't quite out in the middle, but it was quite safe. From the front foot, Paul. It's not quite in the middle of the bat, but there's plenty of wood. Well, just dabbed away. A gap in that cordon, that's a run away quickly for four. Dravid's moved on to 40. Well, he's gone through for the single, which takes him to 50. Gentle acknowledgement uh, to the dressing room crowd. He's reached yet another landmark. Raul Dravid has been the consistent man in this Indian batting lineup this series. It's almost he and he alone who's produced the sort of runs that have reflected his well known class. Oh, well, defiant innings from Dravid. And he looks in good nick. Got this reputation as a very, very defensive player. But he's hit. Oh. Must be quite tricky for the batsman. A lot of the pitch in shadow and just little kind of shafts of light running across the surface. So the ball comes out of shadow into light, back into shadow again. Rabbit himself is standing bathed in light, but where the ball will land will be in the shadows. Let's have a look at where it lands the ball. Look at the accuracy. That's what really puts pressure on the batsman. where Dravid has played Swan very well through the series just staying back and slightly leg side of the ball and that's one aspect of his batting that he was talking the other day about how he's looking to play the off spinners differently from the way he's historically done opening up the offside looking to play more on the offside to an off spinner yeah a very good morning been out in the middle this morning and the wicket Looks very abrasive, very coarse, and I think that's why we saw Swan get that quick spin and the bounce, and there's something there for the quickies too, where the ball grips in the surface. India have to show something today. They've been Wait. poor, India, uh, they have been, and England have been all over them too. This is the man, though, they need to get early. England, Raul Dravid. Broad kicks off with a no ball. Played really well yesterday. Played well defensively. Raul Dravid, 57 from 109 deliveries, but he did hit nine fours. Swan was the key for England. Ten overs, three maidens, three for 27. Three slips. Three saving one on the offside. England were out there this morning practicing, having a bat. All batting. 
follow on is the, the thing and India are trailing by 487 how much fight there is in this Indian team Yes, yeah, that's the question, isn't it, Bumble? Whether India have got any fight in them at all today. We've seen them just collapse in the last few test matches. And they've played, once Dravid goes, to sort of glue everyone together. Once they get England get Rahul Dravid out, the rest of them just seem to collapse. And I think what they're, they're just gone mentally, I think. I think England have just battered them. They've been all over them so much. They're just wearing them down. And the fight, I'm not sure, not sure they've got any left in them. I think Dravid's the one guy who has. You know, he's been had a great series so far. I mean, Indi you know, India are going to lose this series probably 4-0, unless they really do show some fight. But 100 at Lords, 100 at Trent Bridge, missed out at Edge Baston, was given out off the shoelace, maybe 100 nipped in the bud, and he's on the way here. Clearly been the best batsman for India this series, and he's had to bat in all different positions too, with guys not wanting to bat. Gambier this morning. Hearing he's reluctant to bat again. Because he's got a headache. Get on with it. Well, he took a heck of a bang when he, he fell over and his eyes disappeared. He like tic tac toe, it was like the plums going round. And the plums came round again. Two cherries and a plum. Yeah, it was a bad knock, but that was a couple of days ago. Uh, okay, his headache and there's nothing wrong with his neck or anything like that. I was surprised yesterday that someone like a Sachin Tendulkar or Dhoni, the captain, or Dravid didn't walk up to him. Oh, still aren't opening. Mumble, just watching him there, it didn't look like he wanted it. 104 for five. And then day one of the test match, he's unavailable for selection with a sore arm. So what does he do? Fielding at lunchtime, diving, taking catches. Ah. Time this. Great shot from Raul Dravid. We talked about it a few times about what a class act he is. But his real strength, say, if you get too straight to him, he can whip you off the pads. And he gets that timing with great wrists. You watch, with, just as he hit it, he flicks it. And it really goes, flies off the bat. Waits for the ball on the bat and then flicks it with his wrists. That's how he gets his pace. And he whipped outside the off stump and straight at his pads. Dynamite. He sees length early. That last shot that he plays, it's a, a quick delivery. And it's almost a slow motion shot as he gets well forward. on to 67 just looking at I'm going to keep a close eye on Stuart Broad's pace here Bumble he's dropped it down to 83 well now one of the strengths of Stuart Broad why he's been the leading we can take is his pace and his hostility his aggression look at his pace that's 81 just think he's dropped a bit of pace might be time for an Anderson or a Breslin or someone down there his pace is just dropping look at the first one 87 then 83 81 well, we talk about England's preparation and just a glimpse there of David Saker, the bowling coach. Before play, they were less than happy. And I would say it was Anderson and Bresnan who weren't out practicing just before play started. That seemed to be a slower delivery. It fox drab it, but he, he reaches for this. Just check how wide this is, and he gets a real reach in. Oh, he's in the air as well, square. Did you ever have a little good wish note on the back of your back for somebody else? Good luck, Nass. Best wishes, <laughs> Dominic Cork. <laughs> well, it's unusual from Dravid. It's effective. 
Takes him to 90. Well, I can tell you one thing. It's not an instinctive Dravid shot. You must have thought long and hard about this option. Maybe three or four overs back. Field is also very tempting to play that kind of a shot. Three fielders pretty much uh, there to save the single. Back to business. Front foot defensive shot. Yeah, it's one of those shots, isn't it? You've got to be absolutely sure you hit it well enough because any slight miscue, you've got that mid-wicket who's slightly deep, mid-on slightly deep. Offside this time. Charlie very quick to get back, give himself space. He comes off the toe end of the bat. And that's the second boundary of this over. another boundary on the offside against Graeme Swan but this time uh, it's a much uh, the more sensible option less risk involved because he's bowling around the wicket and the angle also helps it's amazing how things can change when you just look to do something Travid has looked to play the off spinner on the offside and he's got plenty of runs oh, it's a lovely shot third boundary of the over Swan just gave it that little bit of air. Not frightened to do so, Graham Swan, but uh, Jarvis just picked the flight, picked the length so quickly and placed it beautifully. Well, when the over started off, he was on 98, oh, beg your pardon, 86. Now he's moved to 98. Three fours in a boundary. That doesn't quite happen often with Jarvis. Oh, oh I just had to hurry a bit there. <laughs> ends up on the ground less elegant than normal takes him to 99 though Dravid uh, picking up 13 runs from the over one 70 for six now I just had to hurry here his back foot motoring away slightly inelegant dive from Raul Darby that most most things that he does come into the genuinely elegant category and that would have been oh mighty close mighty close Anyway, he's on 99 now, taking his time just to compose himself yet again. He'll be looking for this one. England have done their best with three on the offside, two on the onside, to place a field that stops him getting that one. Breslin just a little bit wide of that off stump, a little tempter. Oh, but Dravid, a man renowned for his patience, wouldn't expect him to be drawn into playing at that one. Two direct hits missed today, uh, this morning, by England. Dravid has been lucky on that front. There's one instance earlier as well. Well, England know that uh, the one is crucial here to Raul Dravid. That's also inflicted a bit of pain. right on that uh, index finger but pain first then very quickly the thought of that single to take into the hundred it's amazing isn't it Bresden does get just that little bit of extra bounce sometimes That'll do it for Raul Dravid. He steered it wide of Anderson at third slip. Picks up another couple, goes to yet another hundred. And this has been a solo effort of very, very high quality from Raul Dravid, proving that you can be an Indian batsman and make runs against this current England team, but he's the only one who's doing it. So look at this. 
got the square leg and Tim Bresnan has come up to save the single to keep Dravid on strike. Still got that deep point. Often that just goes on to hit the stumps. End of the over. It's 224 for six. And then he readjusts it in his hand. Lovely shot. Just timing on that occasion. Just optimum power to get that boundary. Well, it's a quick outfield. All bats from around the world know that. Get enough bat on it, you don't have to smash it. You get four. I think there was an emphasis from Swan to get that up, right up to get him to drive against the spin, try and get him to drive through the rough. Really bad there on that occasion. It's another good shot. He hasn't played this square cut often enough in the series, so got to say that was a rare shot from Dravid. But once again, you see the difference between him and the rest of the batsmen in the series. He's been in control, drop it. Attempted slow ball. Just dragged it down a little bit. Seeing it like Dravid, he won't miss out. A bit late on that. Just picks up the one for it. I think that's England's next move. Spinner back, Graham Swamp. Quite liked a ball with this newish ball. It's a good bouncer. Good bouncer which uh, followed Dravid. 267 for eight. So it seems to have been. Uh, a quiet day, a relatively quiet day for England in the field, but uh, the atmosphere changing somewhat. Finds the gap. When you're 135 not out, you don't miss those. This is now India's highest score of the series. 288 at Trent Bridge, first innings, they've gone one better here. Yeah, just noticing Stuart brought bowling to Dravid, even the last over there. He tried to bowl a Yorker, I think, to Dravid. Has a, got another full toss, and when you're 130 odd, you're not going to miss out on too many of them. He's... Seen that a lot in this series. He opens the face very similar to Ian Bell. Target's third man. Beats both fielders. Yeah, just watching Bresnan run in then as well. I just wonder, Broad's pace has been down and so has Jimmy Anderson's. I just wonder if they're conserving a bit of energy because they know they have to bowl again. Or they're not quite comfortable with their foot landing on that little bit of slippery or loose crease. Whereas they're not happy with that. Just a little edge down a third man, not very happy at all. But just keep an eye on how hard Bresden hits the crease here because he normally steams in. He's a bit like a rhino. Gets in there hard, hustle and bustle, hits the bat hard. He slams his foot into the pitch. There it is. For the first time in this series, 17 days into the series, and India get to 300. Would you believe it? Raul Dravid carries his bat. India have been bowled out. Outstanding performance from the wall. He's just going to find out from the England captain. Does he need to bat again straight away? And I think Matt Price told him we're going to have a bowl again. Yeah, fantastic from Raul Dravid. Basically half the runs. And we'll get a huge applause here from the, the crowd. He thoroughly deserved to. Just about a standing ovation for his great effort. Well played, Dravid. 146 not out. No one.
Will uh, Gambier come out? Will Dravid say, no, I want to keep going. I'm feeling good. I want to keep going. Or will Dravid just want a shower and a change of shirt and hope that Gambier will give him a bit of breathing space? Well, I, I think it's entirely down to Raul Dravid. Uh, I, I think if he turns, goes in that direction and says, look, I'm going, I'm in the, the bubble, I think is the expression nowadays, I'm going straight back out there. Now, if he chooses to do that, which he's doing, I would support it and say, OK, off you go. Well, we don't know he's doing it. It may be that Gambia said, I'm not fit to open. Well, if that's the case, then Gambia... Gasson Gambia... Well, I'm sorry, unless he's managed to find the one piece of concrete on the outfield <laughs> out there when he fell over, I'm afraid I'm a little baffled by all that. Well, we don't know, so it, it would be unfair to speculate. Dravid may well have said, look, skipper, I'm seeing it like a football, let me get out there straight away. He'll probably have had a very quick shower, changed his shirt, changed that uh, underskin, if you like, that he wears. And out he comes again. He's been on the field every minute of the day, or every game so far. But it's still, even though he's just been batting for, what, 300 and however many minutes, 379 minutes, it's still different coming out to start a new innings afresh. Oh, yeah! Is there a nick on that? Yes, there is. Swan straight away and he's reviewed it straight away. Reviewed it immediately. This is with a catch, inside edge or a little bit of glove. Significant thing reviewed immediately by batsman Dravid. Yeah, the mandatory checking of the no ball. It's a legal delivery and this time Dravid not consulting his non-striker. Heard two sounds. There's no doubt there were two sounds. Yeah, but it's missed the inside edge. That is what uh, matters. Missed it completely. You know when the batsman reviews it immediately. He knows that he's not hit it. Blows away that debate every now and again that you hear. A batsman's uncertain at times whether he's hit it. You know whether you've hit it. He's missed that. You see that disturb the surface. It's a good delivery from Swamp. Ravid stays in. Yeah, this is an instance where the umpire went for two sounds more than the visual evidence that he got because he was in a good position to see whether the ball had, was close to the inside edge of the bat. But like me, I think he heard two sounds and went with it. the advantages of DRS you get the right decision definitely two noises does all the right things Raul Dravid sympathetic or understanding smile to the umpire and another thing that he did was uh, before he went for that review just confirmed with the umpire and the non-striker that he wasn't given out late before right a bit with that ball right a bit Oh, it's a beauty, goes straight on. It's a before buys. Straight through everybody. Yeah, looked like an off spinner. Just went with the arm. You can see him. There was some dirt also coming off the pit. There could have been an outside edge as well. He's hit this. Definitely hit this. Oh, definitely. Ball that goes straight on. Giving us buys. Nobody's batted an eyelid out there. I mean, look at the bounce there. I'm looking at the keeper first up and think you should stop that. He's no chance. Driven down the ground. This will be a long chase. Ball's going to win, I think. Going at four and over. India, 48 without loss. Broad, six overs. Three maidens, none for eight. Ball of full length and it's just eased down the ground. You can see that little trigger movement as he moves his back foot back and then gets a big stride forward. Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! 
and again don't think so England might review this straight away now then England convinced that he's got a nick on this I'm not so sure don't like Dravid's body language though he's not looking assertive legal delivery this is a review for a bat and pad catch don't know yet don't know yet good catch parried catch have a look at hot spot is what we can see on that there's anything there there's a there's a mark you can see on the bat that he's there all the way through I think he might get away with this bat hits the ground again let's watch at the end of the shot bat hits the ground I don't think there's anything here that can change the not out decision England have reviewed this I think Dravid is surviving this one Oh, finger goes up for some reason. And I just get the feeling that spot that we were talking about could be the one that may have got the umpire to rule this is out. But uh, that spot was there even before the ball arrived, wasn't it? On a hot spot. Unless you saw something here, maybe a deflection here. The more you see it, you might just see a slight deflection. But gracious me. He's just walked off the field, a standing ovation, and he deserved it for his 146 not out in the first innings. And he's just been caught at short leg. Swan makes the breakthrough. Wonderful effort from Dravid. India 49 for one. 